Hi, welcome to Scorpion Maths video on set notation. In this video, we're going to look at the different notation used for sets at GCSE level, and we're also going to look at some typical questions. So let's have a, let's have a look at our first set. So we've got the set A, which is the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Each of these numbers is called an element of the set A, or a member of the set A, and the curly bracket, the front and end, are called braces. Here's the set B. The set B is the lowercase letter A, B, C, and D. So this set B has four elements or members, and they are A, B, C, and D. The set C is a description. Whenever I get a description for a set, I tend to then write down beneath what it is. So we have the set of even numbers between 7 and 15. So that would be 8, 10, 12, and 14. So these are some examples of sets. Uh, they can be numbers, letters, descriptions, and so on. The next symbol is the letter Xi, and Xi stands for the universal set. So typically at the beginning of a Venn diagram question or a set notation question, you might see the symbol uh, and then a list of elements that belong to the set, and they would be the numbers that are going to be used within the question. Um, so you then you use those numbers to then answer the rest of the question. Okay, our next symbol. So we've got the symbol here. This symbol is the intersect symbol, this intersect symbol, and you'd read it as A intersect B. And what it means is it's the members or the elements of A that are also element, elements of B. So it would be the numbers that are in both set A and set B. So sometimes people read it as and, they'll say A and B. So here we've got the set A, which is the, which is the numbers 2, 5, 6, and 8. The set B, which is 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8. The elements of A that are also elements of B would be the number 5. It's a member of both of them. And the number 8 is a member of both of them. So the set A intersect B would be 5 and 8. So this is the intersect symbol, or a lot of people would just call it and, and it's the members of, or it's the numbers that belong to both set A and set B. Our next symbol. This time we've got this U symbol, and it stands for union. So we've got this A union B, and it means any members that are in set A or set B. So if we've got the set A, which is the numbers 2, 5, 6, and 8, and the set B, which is 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8, it's any number that's in set A or set B, or both. So let's write that down. So A union B, that set would be any number in each of them. So we've got the number 2. Well, let's cross it out so we can keep track. We've got the number 3. We've got the number 4. We've got the number 5. Obviously, it's in both, but we'll write it down. We've got the number 6. We've got the number seven, and we've got the number eight. And that would be A union B, and it's any um, element that's a member of set A or set B. So this U, this union symbol, um, it stands for or, and this N stands for intersect, which is and. So they would, this would be a member of both sets, and this would be a member of either set, or both. Our next symbol is this A with a little dash, A dash, and it's the complement of A, so it means anything that's not in A. So here we've got the universal set, so in this question we're looking at the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If we were told that A is the numbers 2, 4, 5, and 6, not A, or the complement of A, would be any numbers that aren't A in the universal set. So we've got 2, um, we don't have... We don't have the number one, so one's not in A. We've got the number two. We don't have the number three, so that's going to be not A. We don't have, we've got the number four in A. We've got the number five in A. And we've got the number six in A. So the complement of A, the numbers in the universal set that are not in A would be the numbers one and three. So this A dash stands for complement of A or not A. So if I see A dash in a question, I just tend to say not A. Let's have a look at some questions now. So here we've got a universal set. So we've got the numbers 1 to 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's useful to just check those, just make sure they haven't missed one out. Uh, we've got the set A is the numbers 1, 4, and 9, and the set B are the numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8. And the question says, list the members of A intersect B. So that means A and B. So we're looking for the numbers that are in both A and B. So here we can see we've got the number 4 in both of them. We don't have any other numbers in both of them. So list the members of A intersect B. Well, that would just be 4. 
Um, you might want to write it down using set notation. So you could write a intersect B equals four. Or if the question just said to list them, you could just write down the number four. Okay, next question. Again, we've got the same universal set, one to 12. We've got A is the set of numbers one, four, and nine, and B is the set of numbers four, six, or uh, two, four, six, and eight. And the question says, write down the members of A union B, so A or B. So that's any number that is in A or B. So it's just any of the numbers within them. So A, the list of members, so that's going to be one, two, four, six, eight, and nine. So A union B is equal to the set of numbers, one, two, four, six, eight, and nine. Or if the question just said list them, you could just write list those numbers beneath on the, the answer line. Our next question says list the members of not A or the complement of A. So we've got A being the numbers one, four, nine. We've got the universal set. So we've got the numbers from one to 12 here. So we're looking for anything that's not in A. So anything that's not in A would be, uh, we've got one, four, and nine. So we've got that one, that one, and that one. So it's gonna be everything else. That's gonna be two, three, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, and 12. And in a question, if it's just said list the elements of not A, you could just write down those numbers, two, three, five, and so on. Our next question has a wordy descriptions rather than numbers. So A is the set of numbers, which are the multiples of three between um, 10 and 20. So let's write down what that is. So A is the set of uh, multiples of three between 10 and 20. So the multiples of three between 10 and 20 would be 12, 15, and 18. And B is the set of numbers which are which are the even numbers between nine and 19. So it's gonna be 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. The first question says, list the members of A intersect B. So that's A and B. So it's the numbers in both of those sets. So if we look at these sets, we have got 12s in both of them and 18s in both of them. So 12, and 18. List the members of A union B, so that's in A or B, so that's any number that's in A or B, so that would be 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 18. And we're listing the members of it, so that's them. All right, so our next question. Our next question, we have got the universal set, which is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. We've got the set D, which is 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and the set E, which is 12, 15, 17, 18, and 20. And the question says, write down the members of D union E, so that's in D or E. So we're listing the members, so that's going to be, it's either of them, so it doesn't matter which set it's in, we just list it out, so that's gonna be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 20. It's a good idea, just make sure you've got all those. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, list the members of not D and or intersect not E. So let's write down what not D would be and also write down what not E would be. Okay, so not the complement of D, not D. So we've got 13, or we've got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that would leave us with, we've got 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So that'll leave us with 12, 18, 19, 20, and 21. That's the complement of D or not D. And not E, well, not E would be the set of numbers. We've got 12, 15, 17, 18 and 20. So the complement of E would be 13, 14, 16, 19, and 21. Let's just check that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Yeah. And we have been asked to list the members of not D, so not D and not E. So in other words, the numbers that are in both of these sets. So we have got the number 19s in both of them, the numbers 21s in both of them, and that's it. So the members of not D and not E would be 19 and 21, and that's it. 